Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne 9 and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season three, episode 12 of Daredevil called One Last Shot. So start off with, so we start off with Fisk got told of Medine's escape and then Fisk and Vanessa are together again and a super fun moment. And then we have Nadine's family is staying at Mahoney's house with um, his like mother and family and stuff. And his wife is upset and disgusted. <laughs> then Matt and Foggy are going to rep Nadine in court. Then Fisk um, ignores the Dex and just kind of give him like a, a cold shoulder. And then we have Fisk and Vanessa have dinner and look at art around the house. And so she decides that she's going to sleep after he, she doesn't see her penny that he that she gave him. Then we catch up with Nadim, Matt, and Karen strategize to get his family away from all of this stuff. And then, um, then we cut to um, uh, Blade Tower. Uh, uh, Mahoney pulls over Blade Tower so Foggy can talk to him, and Foggy says like he'll drop the he'll drop out of the race if he talks to Nadim. Then Matt grills Nadim and meets with uh, Tower. So basically, he was preparing him for what Tower could do to him and what would happen in court and how he would look in court. And we cut to where Dex brings food to Fisk and he apologizes. So Fisk uh, decided to bench him and put him off the job. Then we cut to where Nadim finishes his story and um, the Foggy and Matt are, want to push full immunity so when he talks he doesn't get any charges brought on to him. Tower won't take it and he wants five years. So they have a back and forth and Nadim agrees and then he goes to call his son through like a payphone. Then we cut to where Fisk is making breakfast for Vanessa and basically she's been lonely even like She'll surrounded by people. She still feels lonely. She's just felt like all utterly alone because she's always had these bodyguards surrounding her. And even when she was out in public, she still felt very alone. And she still feels that way now. Then we cut to where Fisk is tipped off about Nadim and basically wants him, uh, so he does want Dex to finish the job. So then. Karen talks to um, her old boss and she wants to make a press conference and he reluctantly agrees. Then we cut to where Dex got the painting back and she said so Vanessa saw blood on it and you know she just said thank you so much like how did you get it and then she, he was like I, w I just had a, I just persuaded her. Then we cut to where Nadim is riding um, in a paint truck and not the other truck that um, you, you usually use to go to court. And talks to Matt and then they get shot at and they have really cool fight scenes that, but they manage to get away to stole someone's car. <laughs> and they arrive at the courthouse. So then Karen does a press conference and airs out all the dirty laundry. Then we cut to where Matt hears something and basically the jury's being blackmailed and then Nadim um, goes freak out, freaks out in the bathroom and Kia is foggy. Then we cut to where Fisk sees the painting and he's pissed. And Vanessa's concerned about Dex and she also wants to live in his world. Like she's, She feels like she's an outsider but she wants to be with him all in. And then also, I feel like her accent changed. I feel like she did not have the accent. She just switched out. So that was weird. Very, 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 very weird to me. I did not hear the accent at all. I don't remember that at all for season one. And I was like, when did you get that accent? I don't even, I can't even place what the accent is, but it just kind of threw me off. And then we cut to where Nadim is at his house and makes a video. Then we cut to where Fisk shows uh, Vanessa the secret room and the assistant and everything. And Vanessa set, decides that she wants Nadim gone because she got to sit in the chair and she got to call one of the shots and everything. And um, 
tells him to send Dex after him. So Dex does, and he and Nadine talk, and basically warns Dex, and tries to turn him, and but that doesn't work, and so Dex offed him in his pool area. And then Molly, Karen, and Foggy found out, and then Matt storms off very upset. Um, crazy episode. I give this episode a... I gave it a strong A. I thought it was a really good episode. Actually, an A+, plus because I like the strategy that they use. They use, like, a paint truck, but it still got made out, which I thought was really weird. And, um... Just overall, the episode was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Um, the fight scenes were good. Just the the way everything's unfolding, the last, like, three, four episodes have been really good. I've really enjoyed this season a lot. So, anyway, um, I'm, anyway, I gotta go. I'll see y'all in the next video. Subscribe, and like, comment, and everything. Alright, bye, everybody.